Good afternoon, Captain Jim here. We're gonna do a walk around the Survivor and uh, see who's all in. This is the MD 5C 120S sail drive. And you can see it's a fixed fin keel. Painted it quite a few years ago, all grip. Gave her a good scrub yesterday. See where she's still got some staining. More of the keel. And the mast. Still has all the running rigging attached, but as you can see, it's been, been attached for quite a while. It will need replacing. This is the foot, fits into a tabernacle on the deck. paint between the hulls looks really good still but as you can see there's some places going away and chips those are all little dots of chips from the lawnmowers when they cut the grass around the boat and those are little check marks paint starting to fade. Chain plates were all replaced. These are hurricane straps. <clears throat> Tie it down every hurricane season. It's solid hull. This is the sunny side, so that's where the paint's starting to check. As I said, you'll have to paint the boat. You can sail it away, but probably best to at least put some prime on some of those spots. You can see the shine still underneath where it didn't get sun. Bow rail, the bow light works. Last time I checked it out, turns on. So you got running lights in the bow when you're motoring. There's the head of the mast. It was primed, but it looks, primer's a lot going away, but it's solid aluminum. It's off a Santana 30 that I bought and had it cut down for the right size. It's a slug track, but my sails have Harkin slug um track hardware uh cradle comes with it if you want to try to get it home somehow it uh bolts together i designed and made that out of materials we had on hand. More paint chips. I'm staining. I'm not, not selling a shiny boat. <laughs> this is the sun side that gets beat on all the time by the sun.
Interesting that gray up there is actually aluminum flake and epoxy. That's not primer. When I put the deck on, I low overlapped the glass and then taped the seams and then gave it a final coat of a epoxy, West System epoxy and aluminum coat to uh, give it that ultraviolet shielding. This is a close-up view, so you get to see it all. And believe me, this is a long boat with three hulls to wash. The out hulls are 30 feet, main hull 34 on the deck, but I wrote Norm Cross and asked him if I could extend the hull to put that 18 inches of dive platform. Some people refer to it as a spoon, I think. Scoop, that's what it is, a scoop. But uh, I designed that in, built it, sent it off to Norm and he gave me the blessing, so. His next boat's had them on it. Imagine that. All right. Uh, any questions? Let me know.